So there are sobriety-based treatments mm -hmm. where people get counseling, they go to NA or they go to residential treatment and they, uh, they learn coping skills. Um, however, they still need to go through withdrawal and often there's medications that can help with that. Um, and then there's what's called medication-assisted treatment where people are given uh, medicines that you know can can interact on the receptors in the brain and help folks with the withdrawal symptoms that they would have so methadone is was the first drug like that been around for 50 60 years and uh, buprenorphine or suboxone is a relatively newer drug um, suboxone is a lot safer some physician can prescribe it in their office and aside from being more expensive um, in many ways, it's, it's probably a cleaner, safer drug to use if you had the option. Uh, naloxone is a narcotic antagonist, and it's a drug that will immediately put you into withdrawal. The beauty of naloxone is if you have a lot of people using illicit drugs or, or using drugs in a dangerous way, if you can get naloxone out into that community, then if somebody overdoses, there's somebody around who can give them the antidote immediately. Call 911, call the police, whatever, but you can save their life in the meantime. And that's been used in many communities. And um, so yeah, there's a, there's a bill passing, hopefully moving as we speak uh, through the Senate and the House to get naloxone available the same way EpiPens are available for people who have bee sting allergies. We're hoping that we can get naloxone out into the drug using communities so that we can save overdose lives. Methadone um, is is the drug with the with most lethality. And your question is why? Yeah, how is that happening when so there's the deal. Okay. Methadone is a methadone is a very special drug, and people who prescribe it need to be aware of that. It needs to be prescribed carefully, cautiously in low doses if you're going to use it for chronic pain. Now the only place that methadone is allowed to be used for addiction treatment is at Allied, which is the local methadone clinic. Now that's being dispensed by a nurse who's observing the patient. They're in group counseling, they're in individual counseling, they have urine drug screens on a regular basis. There's a lot of eyes on these folks. And even though they are high-risk individuals, because they, they're abusing drugs, and even though their dose of methadone is high, the, the mortality is really quite low for people in, in enrolled in, that, in, in treatment. For people that are getting methadone for pain, the lethality is really quite high. And in fact, if you analyze those overdose deaths, you'll find that the vast majority of them are pills being prescribed by local physicians for pain relief as opposed to the liquid that's being given to people uh, for uh, opioid dependency. Okay, I didn't know that that, okay. That's so it, it, is a, it is a powerful, potentially dangerous drug, right? Yeah. It's very, very cheap, and that's the reason that it's often prescribed for chronic pain. Uh, I mean, it, it can cost $10 or less, whereas Oxycontin could cost hundreds of dollars. And Suboxone is? Suboxone, the price is coming down, okay. but it's still pretty expensive. It could yeah. easily cost $200, $300, $400 a month for treatment. I think you're going to have to address the, the controversy in our community about what is treatment. Oh, okay. So here's the deal. Mm -hmm. um, as you mentioned earlier, opioid withdrawal is terrible. People hate it. It makes you feel like you're going to die. You're not, but it makes you feel like you're going to die. And in reality, it's a little different than cocaine withdrawal, methamphetamine withdrawal, benzodiazepine withdrawal, alcohol withdrawal. It's just different. And for people going through it, their reaction is often quite different. Um, the truth of the matter is that relapse is very high with all addictions, and it's very high with opioids. So there are those who believe that methadone and suboxone are inappropriate. They're replacing one drug for another. You're just taking an addict and you're addicting them on something else. The, the thing that needs to be considered is that opiate addiction is a potentially fatal condition. I mean, if you believe that addiction is a chronic disease, this is a chronic disease with high lethality. Every year that goes by that you're an opiate addict, 
um, I don't know if it's 2% or 3% or 4% or 5%, but there's some significant percentage likelihood you're going to die before your next birthday. So if we have treatments like Suboxone, for example, which are highly effective, I mean, 95 plus percent of the people that get put on methadone and Suboxone stop using opiates within, I don't know, a month. Um, now, that's not to say that they, they're they perfectly upright citizens who are never going to abuse anything again, but they tend not to abuse opiates. Um, and many of them actually do just turn their lives around. So the, the controversy is, is it okay to use medication-assisted treatment? Is that really treatment? Some people say it isn't. I say it is. And then the second question is, okay, now we got you off drugs. When are you going to get off methadone? or when you're going to get off Suboxone. My own feeling is they're perfectly legitimate forms of medication, of treatment. They work really well uh, for many people, not for everybody. This is a pretty hard group of people. These are addicts. So you're going to think 100% of them are just going to straighten up and fly right? Not really. Some, are, some still think like criminals. Some take quite a while to, to adjust. And uh, the other issue is I would think it should be up to that individual and and their treatment community as to when's the right time to get off. Um, so for some people they feel like you know I've been using heroin my whole life I'm 55 years old I've tried six times to get off and stop and I always relapse methadone's working for me I'm just gonna keep doing it and my feeling is okay you probably know that better than I do and um, so I, that, that's, just, that's just an ongoing inbred controversy, especially in this community.